Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel, Red Elevator. I'm Nina Takish and today we are going to do something really fun and something that my clients ask me all the time how to do. And I'm gonna show you how to decorate your shelves, whether it's in a den, whether it's in a bedroom or anywhere in the house. How do you really style your shelves so they look designer, they look chic, and where to get all your products and items and how it is actually done. Voila, here we are, all done. So as you can see, it wasn't very difficult. I will show you some of my tips and tricks as to how to really decorate your shelves so they really have that designer look. You can certainly do this in any of your rooms and I'm gonna show you exactly how I did it. Whatever books that you have that you love, your coffee table books, grab them and display them. I always like to display them horizontally. Why? Because it gives it a more of a sense of balance. Then I can put some objects on them and really make them pop. And people could certainly see what the books are about. I always like to put my biggest items on the very top. The rattan baskets, again, are an ode to this house because we are in a farm chic house and you wanna have natural materials, whether it's wicker or rattan, things of that nature that have texture look really great in these stark white shelves. So on top, you've seen these beautiful baskets. We got those from Living Spaces and we just literally put them up there. And that's a place that you're really not going to access anyway, so it's good to put the bigger objects always on top. Then I started with my favorite pieces. I always start with my favorite pieces and I work my way from the middle out. But I always like to make sure that there is a balance of color, height, texture, all of those things come into play and you can certainly do this on your own. You just have to make certain provisions and you have to take into consideration certain things, which I'm gonna show you in this video. Because black pops, I didn't wanna to put too much black. So I started with a black vase sort of in the middle of the bookcase and I knew I needed to balance it. If you have black in the middle, you wanna put black higher up or maybe even lower. So we put one black vase on top. I like to group things in twos a lot of times and then put my books to the right of it. So we have two black vases on top, books to the right. Then we didn't want to put too much gold because this is not a very formal gold house. We wanted to have just a touch of it. So the homeowner got these beautiful vases as a wedding present and we decided to put them together right here in the corner. And you'll see that is really the only gold we have in this entire bookshelf other than a brass bowl that was um, already existing here. The majority of my items were purchased either from living spaces, CB2 or 
Crate and Barrel. So I will have links to these items, the ones that are available, down below in my comments. Make sure and look at them because you too can certainly buy these materials. They are current, they're ready to buy, and style your own shelves with them. It's important to be sporadic in the way that you design your bookcase. Don't make every shelf the same, meaning don't put your tall items on the left, small items on the right in every bookshelf. It needs to be different. So. For instance, I decided to center this coral piece, but you will see there is no other coral piece that's centered or really any other shelf that has a centered piece other than our Jonathan Adler vase. There is only two shelves that have single items on them. Again, every shelf needs to be unique and different. If you take that philosophy to heart, you will be able to design like the pros. Keeping in mind that we are in a modern chic farmhouse, we like to have elements from the outdoors in. Now, our homeowner is very busy, she's a professional, and she doesn't have time to clip greens from her backyard. But if you do, I would always prefer that you cut greenery from your backyard or buy some branches and bring them in. So in this case, we bought these little faux plants that are really cute, and these will also be linked below in the comment section. These, I believe, were from Amazon. And they are just very light and very clean, and they just bring a little bit of the outdoors in. You wanna bring natural elements into your home, whether whether it's a sophisticated home or not, I always love greenery in a bookshelf or anywhere else in your house. Some of my favorite pieces in this bookshelf you might want to know are these beautiful vases and candlesticks from Leanne Ford for Crate and Barrel. I have to say, this is not sponsored. I love the look of it. They're very affordable and they're really cute. And then I have to say that I do love these little balls. We got these. And what's great about them is that you don't really have to think about what you're doing with them. You just place them. They're placed, one I placed on top of a clay pot and one is just sort of whimsically sitting here below the pot. So again, we've got one of our favorite books here, Habitat, and then we keep going with what we love. I'd like to concentrate the more sophisticated or, or I should say the, um, my, the favorite items in the center. And then I tend to go a little bit lighter towards the ends of the bookshelf so that you've got some intrigue in the middle, which is where the balance is. And then you'll see that some of the outer shelves are a little bit lighter. Now, don't be afraid to have one item in your bookshelf. It doesn't mean you don't have to clutter. Don't over accessorize. That is key and critical to this design. Some of them are more cluttered than others, and you'll see some of them have nothing in them. In fact, I was even opting about putting nothing in one of them, and you can do that. But for the lower shelves, I don't like to make them too heavy because this, the height of the shelf is very low. So when you have a low height, you wanna keep the items small. When you have a higher height, then you can really introduce bigger items. Keep that in mind, adjust your shelves, and just let your creativity flow. I hope you enjoyed this episode on how to decorate your bookshelves. If you have other questions regarding how to decorate other areas of your home, please comment below. I'd also love to hear what your favorite decorative item was in this particular video. Thank you again for joining me on this episode of Red Elevator and we will see you next week.